Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. x squared minus x is equal to 2 minus 2x, right? Okay, by looking at this, you may not even know what to do. But then, let's bring everything to the, to the left hand side first. This will be x squared minus x. Then this comes here to become minus 2. This comes to become plus 2x. And everything is equal to 0. Okay? And then from here, I want us to turn this around. Now, why are we turning it around? Because here now, we are having, um, you know, x. We are having a constant in the middle. This is supposed to be a quadratic equation. The constant is in the middle, so we have to bring 2x to this place. So we have x squared minus x. Then we have plus 2x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, the constant is now where it should be. But without adding the middle terms, we can simply factorize. Okay, and if we do that, then these two, x is common to them, right? So we have x minus 1. If you factor out x, here 1 x will be left over. And then x into x will give us 1. This negative is here. Then plus 2 is here and it's there. So I bring it out. Here we have 1 x. Then 2 into 2 is 1. And this will be equal to 0. Remember that every time you factorize like this and you have the same terms in the bracket, then you are correct, okay? Now, bring the two terms. Let's factor out x minus 1. So, if I factor out x minus 1, now guess what will be left over here? x. What will be left here is 2. That will be plus 2, right? And then this is now equal to 0. So that's from here, we have our x minus 1 to be equal to 0 or x plus 2 to be equal to 0. We are using 0 product rule now. And from here, this means that x is equal to 0 plus 1 or x is equal to 0 minus 2. x from here is equal to 1 or x from here is equal to minus 2. Okay, so we've got the two values of x. If I let's call this x1, 1, and then our x2 is equal to minus 2. Now, let's get the original equation back. I think it, it is um, x squared minus um, x equal to 2 minus 2x, right? Okay, so this is what we had. Now, let's bring the value of x1 into this. That will be 1 squared minus 1. Okay, so if this is the case, then whatever we have on this side will be 1 minus 1, and that is 0. This is for the left-hand side. Okay, now let's go to the right-hand side where we have um, 2 minus 2 times 1. And that will give 2 minus 2, which will still give us 0. Meaning that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are okay. They are the same. And then it's a confirmation that x1 satisfies. Now, let's go back to x2, where we have minus 2. So here now we have minus 2 squared. Okay, then in place of minus x, I'll have minus... Then we have minus 2. Now, minus 2 squared will give us 4. Then we have 4 plus um, four, um plus 2. Because minus minus will give 2. At the end of the day, we have 6 on the left-hand side, right? Okay. On the right-hand side, we are going to have 2 minus 2 into minus 2. Because x is actually minus 2 now right now this means we have 2 plus negative 2 times negative 2 is 2 then if you multiply that you shall have 4 now this means that we are having 6 on the right hand side and this is also 
a, um, a confirmation that x2, which is equal to minus 2, satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Thank you.